Welcome to Honeywell's tutorial on how to reinitialize a 131-9 Bravo APU DMM. Using the MCDU, press index, maint, APU, ident config respectively. The ident config page will display the installed DMM data. Pull circuit breaker P62, then pull circuit breaker P64 shown. Install circuit breaker lockout tagout rings to the pulled circuit breakers and APU switch. As you can see, the DMM is readily accessible on wing. After disconnecting the DMM harness connector, connect the DMM's reader's USB side to the PC. Then install the reader's connector side to the DMM. In many cases, a DMM will need to be replaced. To perform this task, simply remove the four mounting bolts as shown. Before initializing the DMM, it is necessary to determine the correct APU input values. The following are distinctive APU inputs that need to be determined. Start by double-clicking the Win DMM icon. Select 131-B. Then select Change Specific DMM Entry Contents. Select Service Bulletin 8260. Click OK and then enter the determined values as shown. The APU hours, minutes, and cycles are to be determined from the operator's tracked hours, minutes, and cycles. Additionally, APU and life limited components times and cycles since last overhaul values need to be determined. If last overhaul times and cycles are not applicable, enter zero value in each appropriate field. The ECS offset is typically found in the APU logbook. Once the values are entered, WinDMM formats and writes the data to the DMM. Afterwards, WinDMM then downloads the new DMM data and saves it as a DAT file in the PC as shown. As you can see, you can verify the new values by double-clicking the DAT file sorted by APU serial number. Remove the cable reader connector and install the APU harness connector. Remove circuit breaker lockout tagout rings and reset the circuit breakers. Using the MCDU, select Index, Maint, APU, Ident Config, then press Next Page key respectively. Then select 
DMM data in the ident config page of the MCDU. Toggle through DMM data using next page and previous page keys to verify DMM data reported to the APU's ECU. This completes our tutorial. I encourage you to visit the Honeywell Aerospace website that offers more in-depth information